Let's imagine for a moment. Close your eyes and imagine walking through a lush green landscape, dense with flowering shrubs, vibrant green bushes, swaying grasses, and tall trees scattered throughout. The sun shines brightly on a warm, dewy summer morning. You take a deep breath. The air is fresh. The sweet, earthy smell of the soil reaches your nose. Things are peaceful and calm. Blades of grass crash into each other with each step you take. The bushes and leaves are swaying in the wind. Most prominently, you notice the sounds of birds. In the not too far distance, you hear the classic potato chip call of the American goldfinch. A bit farther away, you hear red-winged blackbirds trilling their recognizable conclery. A hummingbird zips past you towards the bee balm plants beside you. You soon notice a red-tailed hawk flying above. The world around you is alive with birds, trees, insects, and vibrant plant life. This ecological haven you are walking through, it isn't a forest, it isn't an untouched grassland. It's actually a farm. In today's podcast, we will be focusing on the critical role birds play on farms and how current farming practices are actually harming these beneficial birds. For hundreds of years, farmland has provided habitat to various grassland birds, songbirds, and even larger birds like barn owls and red-tailed hawks. For the most part, birds act as a natural predator on the land and eat many common farm pests such as aphids, moths, and larger gophers and rabbits. Birds and farms have the ability to live in a mutualistic symbiosis. However, due to the expansion of monocropping and the increased use of pesticides, birds are in danger. Three billion birds have been lost from the United States and Canada since 1970. Three billion birds lost in less than a single human lifetime. This is deeply concerning, as birds are indicators of healthy, functioning ecosystems. For farmers, this should be especially concerning because birds provide important benefits such as pest control, pollination, and seed dispersal. For example, red-tailed hawks feed on invasive European starlings, which are often pest birds in orchards. In Vermont, birds act as biocontrol in maple forests. Studies show that birds reduce caterpillars by 17 to 37 percent over two years in maple forests. Warblers, sparrows, and American robins play a large role in foraging insects in these maple forests. So why exactly are bird populations dropping? They're dropping as a result of unsustainable farming practices. Cropland expansion of industrial agriculture is limiting natural protective habitats, and the use of neonicotinoid pesticides harm bird development and decrease their ability to reproduce. It's an unfair truth. Farms that have the potential to be a beneficial habitat for birds instead are becoming the number one threat to bird populations worldwide. Agriculture threatens 74% of the 1,469 species at risk of extinction. Grassland birds such as red-winged blackbirds, barn swallows, eastern meadowlarks, and bobolinks are especially in danger. These species, which are just a few of the many avian species that frequent farms, are experiencing record population decline. Not only do pesticides harm birds, 
but they also get rid of many birds' primary food source, bugs and insects. Mowing and cutting grass in early spring also destroys many grassland bird nests. After all this bad news, you might be wondering, is there anything that can be done for birds? Fortunately, there is. There's a lot of different lingo for it, but the transition to ecological farms, farms that mimic our natural ecosystems, is essential for helping birds. This was exemplified in the 2018 documentary, Biggest Little Farm. Viewers observe the transformation of over 200 acres of neglected, compacted, unfertile monoculture farmland into an agroecological haven, bursting with life all around. The land is designed to mimic our natural environment, which we call agroecology. After seven years of working this land to be as natural and symbiotic as possible, farmers John and Molly share that 87 barn owls live on the farm, eating an estimated 15,000 gophers, animals that can devour the roots of fruiting trees. Research shows that birds are attracted to farmland that offers them habitat, whether that's bushes for sparrows and warblers, orchards with big old trees and hedgerow, riparian edges, or simple wooden perches and bird boxes to attract raptors and owls. Organizations can also play a large role in encouraging farmers to make their land bird friendly. There are a lot of examples of this in Vermont. The Vermont Audubon Society developed a bird friendly maple project. This brings bird conservation and the maple sugaring community together. The project allows maple farms in Vermont to pledge to manage their sugar bushes with bird habitat and conservation in mind. The program offers unique marketing benefits to these farmers with a bird-friendly label, signage, and other promotional materials. This helps those farmers inform their customers that they are participating in an international effort to conserve birds and their habitat while making the world's best maple syrup. The Vermont Audubon Society has also developed another project called the Bobolink Project. This allows farmers to pledge to adopt bird-friendly haying practices to protect the threatened bobolink population. Lastly, the Vermont Land Trust partnered with Nordic Farms in Charlotte, Vermont to help transform neglected fields choked with thickets of invasive bush honeysuckle and European buckthorn to restore fallow fields that support migratory bird nesting. So it's clear. Farmers can take advantage of the services birds provide and, at the same time, provide birds with habitat. It is a mutually beneficial relationship between farmers and birds. Various birds play beneficial roles on farms, and farmers play a critical role in protecting declining bird populations. Now, let's imagine again, but this time, you are a bird soaring over the green mountains of Vermont. A lush landscape filled with trees, shrubs, and fields of thick grasses looks like a nice place to snack on, some cucumber beetles. The land enticing you is free of harmful chemicals and dense with habitat and food. You land on a branch of an apple tree and start singing happily hoping to attract more of your bird friends to this ecological haven.